Hi, good afternoon everybody. Norma here. How are you on this Monday afternoon? I'm jumping on a few minutes early today to uh, maybe invite you to um, our new program that's starting today. So I will be starting a yoga nidra practice at 4.30 today and I will be continuing to offer that um, for the next seven weeks. And this is one of our offerings uh, involved with our um, Sorry, I'm going to get the words wrong here. <laughs> the Healthy Heart Toolbox that we're launching. Sorry, the words just escaped me for a moment there. So this uh, program can be started, uh, found in your MyWell site, or also it can be found on the wellness page. And it's a six-week program that we're going to be offering to um, help make some healthier heart choices, as well as some programs that help you sleep. So this practice, Yoga Nidra, is something that would help with both of those um, uh, situations. So Yoga Nidra is one of my most favorite yoga practices. And it is a yoga practice that you don't need any experience for and you can't do it wrong. So all you need is a yoga mat or a soft surface to lay on, um, a blanket, socks, anything cuddly um, that you want to have with you. The reason being that as we're traveling through our guided meditation, so this afternoon we'll have a 45 minute uh, guided meditation, and as we travel through this meditation, you'll be able to shut off your parasympathetic nervous system, or excuse me, your sympathetic nervous system, that flight, or resp flight response, and settle in and allow your parasympathetic nervous system to be activated. And this is where the healing happens. This is where you can rest and restore, digest, and um, heal. So, um, as I said, there's no yoga practice required for this. Uh, it's simply getting comfortable, laying on your mat, and being nice and cozy. If you can um, have a a face cloth or a yoga pillow, sometimes just covering the eyes, just allows you to come inwards um, a little bit further. Um, so what else to say about Yoga Nidra? I think I said it's one of my um, most favorite yoga practices. Uh, yoga Nidra is something that um, can help with many, many situations. I found Yoga Nidra when um, I was diagnosed with cancer. And it was an opportunity for me to um, heal and restore my, my body and get through um, that process uh, a little bit stronger and a little bit more peacefully. So it's great at helping to reduce stress. Um, they say that 30 minutes of yoga nidra is like having 40 minutes, 44 hours of sleep. So it's not to uh, replace your sleep by any means, but it is an opportunity for you to restore and rest um, and maybe process some things that may be on your mind as well as we go through um, the meditation. Uh, since we have seven weeks, since I'm starting this a week earlier than our program, we have an opportunity to travel through all of the chakras. So that's our energy centers. Um, so today we're gonna to be starting with uh, your root chakra and really talking about being anchored and grounded and what a great thing to, to do as we're starting into uh, fall and um, an opportunity to start the process. Um, maybe allow you to you know, be able to process things a little bit differently. It helps reduce stress. Um, and of that, of course, is great impact for your heart. Um, great application for uh, depression or anxiety or post-traumatic stress disorder. So I could go on and on. Um, for the benefits of yoga nidra, but how about you try it for yourself today? So we have about five minutes before we get started. So if you'd like to check it out, go and get something cuddly um, and a place to lay down. We'll get started about 4.30. If not, maybe you can check this out later and uh, maybe join in the program next week. But remember, all of this is linked to our new program starting um, for this last uh, quarter of the, um, the year. So uh, please register for your Healthy 
Heart Toolbox. There's going to be great things there, as well as an opportunity to check what else is the wellness team is offering. So I'm going to just leave you with that and get myself started. And we'll get started. Actually, we're just about five minutes out, so I'll leave it that um, if anybody has joining at 4.30, that we start right at 4.30. Um, if you have any questions about uh, this practice and whether it would be something that you'd be interested in, please remember that um, I'm always just an email or a phone call away. If I haven't met you yet, my name is Norma Bonner. I'm part of the Integrated Health and Wellness team. And... Um, uh, love yoga and all the opportunities that it uh, allows us to find ourselves along the journey and um, i often say that uh, yoga saved me and every time that i roll out my mat it's like coming home so my um, my goal as i teach is to share that with everyone and maybe have that connection happen for you and uh, maybe Yoga Nidra is the ticket for you as a way to get started. So I'll be back in a few minutes. And for those of you that have joined me before, um, you know I love my critters and we have Angel joining us tonight. So it's 4.30 now, so we'll go ahead and get started. Thank you for those that have joined and for those that are going to do the class at a later time. Um, maybe you just replay the introduction just to get started. So finding a comfortable spot on your yoga mat. Yoga Nidra is a practice that you want to be as cozy 
as settled as you can to enjoy the experience. We will be laying down for 45 minutes. So sometimes even adding a second blanket to your yoga mat, you may notice that I have my blanket on top of my yoga mat. Um, and if you have like an extra blanket that you wanna just prop up your head, just making sure that you still have a neutral spine. And then a blanket, of course, to cover you, maybe some nice cozy socks and um, begin to get settled. Making sure there's no wrinkles in your blanket, that you're able to get the perfect position that you feel comfortable and cozy in. I mentioned that we're gonna talk about our root chakra tonight. Maladhara, the color is red. And there's this energy wheel that is located at the base of your spine. It is your foundation, your seat to safety and security. So taking this moment to feel connected to your mat, Maybe even imagining that red wheel at the base of your spine. And let's take a deep breath together in through our nose. Open your mouth, sigh, let it all go. And may you land here. Know that the next 45 minutes is your time. There's nothing for you to do other than to follow my voice and know that there is no way to do this practice wrong. You're going to do the ancient practice of yoga nidra. Know that you are safely held and I will be here with you the entire time. Allowing yourself to feel supported by your mat, maybe feeling where your body is connected to the mat. And feel this safety and this coziness in this little cocoon that you've made for yourself for your practice. Once again, knowing that you are safely held here, there's nothing for you to do. This time is all about you. Allow my voice to be your anchor here and remind you that you are safe. Let's take one more inhale together. And sigh, let it all go. Can you soften even more? Bringing your awareness now to the sounds farthest away from you in the room that you are practicing in. Those sounds farthest away from you. Just noticing the sound. And then moving on, maybe you hear something else. Now bringing your awareness to the sounds closer to you in the space that you are practicing in. And maybe that sound is the beat of your own heart. And let 
let your breath come naturally. In through your nose. And out through your nose. For any breath that feels good to you. And knowing that you can have a cleansing breath at any time. In your mind's eye, can you imagine now a place, a place that you feel completely safe? This is a place where you feel grounded, joyful, comforted, and safe. This may, place may be somewhere that you know, or it may be a place in your imagination, a place that you have created for yourself. It is a place where you can feel all the feels. This is your inner sanctuary. You get to create it. Feel yourself in this place. Feel yourself. Observe the sensations in your body that this place evokes and creates. Perhaps you are smiling or laughing or maybe even dancing. Notice the sounds here. to come alive in your imagination. Feel the feels. Perhaps there's someone there with you. Notice how you feel here. Allow yourself to truly feel peace, joy, contentment, and safety that this place provides you. Let it surround you like a big hug from someone you love. Let this place come alive in your imagination. feel like to be in your inner sanctuary. This is your inner sanctuary. A place just for you. It's always there for you to return to. And know that this safe place is where you can return at any time during our practice. Bring your awareness now to your heart space. Allow yourself to connect to your heart. And in your mind's eye, Ask your heart this question. Heart, what do you want, heart? What do you want, heart? Take the 
the time to listen for your heart's response. Let it come. There's no need to rush. Now repeat to yourself in the present tense what your heart wants. If nothing has come to you, that's okay. Try this. I am happy or I am content. I am connected. This is your intention. Please repeat your intention silently to yourself three times, allowing any sensation to come through as you allow your intention to be absorbed in your body. You are now going to bring your awareness to a body part as I name it. Notice the body part, feel it, let that body part come alive, then move on with the sound of my voice. Become aware of your feet. Your right foot. Right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, pinky toe, your whole right foot, all together, whole right foot. Right upper leg, right hip, your entire right leg now all together, your entire right leg. Please move your intention, your awareness to your left foot now. Your left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe. Your pinky toe. Now feel your whole left foot all together. Whole left foot. Please feel your left calf. Your left knee. left upper leg, your left hip, your entire left leg now all together, entire left leg. Now feel both legs together at the same time, both legs together.
please feel the base of your spine. The base of your spine, the location of your root chakra, Maladhara. Maybe even imagining a red wheel here anchoring you to the earth. Take your awareness to the back of your body now. Those areas that are supported by your mat and your blankets. Your ribs. Your shoulders. The base of your neck. Feel your entire back body now together, your entire back body. Feel your front body now, your lower abdomen, your navel center, front ribs, your chest, maybe feeling your heart beating inside your chest, feel your heart, your clavicle, now feel your entire front of your body all together entire front body, all together. Feel both arms. Your right hand, right thumb, right index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger, your entire right hand, right wrist, right lower arm, Right elbow, right upper arm, right shoulder. Now feel your whole right arm all together, your entire right arm. Feel your left hand now your left thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger, your entire left hand all together. Left wrist, left lower arm, left upper arm, left shoulder, feel your whole left arm all together now, entire left arm. Now feel your throat. Your jaw, your lower lip, your upper lip, the inside of your mouth. Maybe noticing any sensations here. Feel your ears, your 
right ear, your left ear, your nose, your right upper eyelid. lower eyelid, left upper eyelid, left lower eyelid, your forehead, the crown of your head, and feel your whole head together. Now feel your entire front body and feel your entire back body cradle by the earth beneath you, rooted, safe, secure. If your attention is still on my voice, please bring your awareness to your breath now. There's no need to change it. Simply observe your natural breath. I will begin to count down from 10. If at any time you lose count, that's okay, you just start back at 10. Let's try. 10. Observe your natural breath. No need to change anything. Just observe your natural breath. belly raise and fall as you breathe. Filling up, up, up with each inhale. Eight. Feel the parts of your body where your breath touches. Bring your awareness to that pause between your inhale and your exhale. Six. Imagine as you breathe in, your breath traveling all the way up from your feet, all the way to the top of your head. As you exhale now, imagine your breath traveling from the top of your head all the way down to the bottom of your feet. Inhale, I am. 
Take a moment now to recall your inner sanctuary. Remember how you felt here. The smells, all the things that there, you knew were there and that you felt safe, cared for, and comforted. Know that you are safe, oh so very safe, and you can come back there to your inner sanctuary at any time. It's always there for you. Imagine now that there's a movie screen in front of you. I will say a word See the word on the screen. Notice any places that the word shows up in your body. Feel the word completely. And then, when I say, let it go completely. Let's try. Joy. Feel joy in your body. Where do you feel joy in your body? How does it show up for you? Lonely. Feel lonely. Where does being lonely show up in your body. Now feel joy and lonely together, together at the same time, joy and lonely. Now let that go completely. Imagine the word anchored on the screen in front of you. Feel anchored. How does feeling anchored feel to you in your body? Unstable. Feel unstable. What does feeling unstable feel like for you? Feel that in your body. Now feel anchored and unstable together both at the same time, anchored and unstable together. Now let it go, let it go completely. Let's try one more. Grounded, 
Feel grounded. How does feeling grounded show up in your body? What does it feel like? Now feel grounded and scattered together. Grounded and scattered. Grounded and scattered together at the same time. Let yourself feel grounded and scattered. and scattered at the same time. Now let that go. Let it dissolve completely. to go on a little adventure. Imagine yourself outside in nature. You find yourself coming upon a beautiful forest. The most beautiful forest that you've ever seen. Notice the trees here, so many trees. Notice them. Notice the sizes, the heights, all the different types of trees here. And as you look up, this beautiful canopy that the trees make in this beautiful forest. Notice the sounds here. The birds, the frogs, Perhaps you can even hear the slight rustle of leaves on the trees overhead. Feel the sun on your face as it peeks through the canopy of the trees. You feel safe here. And you breathe in all the beautiful sights, the smells, and this magical feeling that this forest is bringing to your heart. Let your body feel all the feelings. The sun appears to be brighter up ahead and you notice a path that is lined with stone and you see a clearing up ahead, a meadow of wildflowers, beautiful colors, all kinds of different flowers. There's red ones and white. yellows, pinks and blues, all the colors of the rainbow here, different 
different shapes. And you stop as you notice your favorite flower. You hold it in your hand and you breathe in the beautiful scent of your favorite flower. Enjoying the peace that this place is bringing to your heart, you decide to take off your shoes. As you notice, this part of the path is covered in beautiful, soft red petals. And you feel a connection to the earth. You feel safe, comforted, and grounded here. Without rushing, you enjoy this walk along the path, feeling the softness from the petals beneath your feet. The path leads to a beautiful pond. You take a moment to observe the beautiful grasses swaying in a slight breeze around the pond. There's more wildflowers here. You hear and see the frogs. And a trinkle of a waterfowl at the far edge. A little waterfall just trinkling at the very edge. Curious, you step to the edge of the pond and dip your toes in the beautiful, clear water. As you look into the pond, you notice your reflection. There's something familiar about your reflection, but also something different. As you smile, the reflection smiles back. And you see that your reflection is your younger self. You notice a message drawn out in the same red flower petals that have lined the path on the way to the pond. It says, I have something to show you. Petals clear, and you see a memory in the reflection of the pond, a memory of your past, a memory that you had forgotten all about, a memory where you are happy, full of joy, at peace grounded and rooted in possibilities for the future. Looking up once again, looking to the eyes of your reflection, of your younger self. You thank them for sharing that memory with you today. You take one more look as your reflection disappears from the pond. And you look around and see all the beauty of the pond. Begin to make your way back along the path through the wildflowers, 
through the forest, feeling the connection to earth, rooted, grounded, happy, safe, and secure. Bringing your awareness back to your heart space. Remembering the message that your heart gave to you earlier, your Sankalpa. Feel it into your whole body. Repeat your Sankalpa three more times to yourself as if it is already true. Let it fill up your heart. Let it grow roots in your body and continue to grow beyond this practice. Bringing your attention to your breath allowing it to begin to lengthen. Once again, observing the inhale and the exhale. Become aware once again of the sounds in the room that you're practicing in. As your awareness comes back to your body, Feel the parts of your body that are supported by your mat, Mama Earth. Feeling cradled here in that little cocoon that you found yourself for this practice today. Slowly and with so much gentleness to yourself, Begin to slowly awaken your body, inviting small movements to your hands and your feet, maybe allowing the light to come back into your eyes. And as you feel ready, turning over to one side or the other, and laying in field position. Just staying here for a few breaths, no rush in the world. Soaking in your practice, remembering your Sankalpa. And when you feel ready, pushing yourself up to a seat, Allowing your hands to remain, to come to heart center, Anjali Mudra. Humbling your chin, allowing your eyes to remain closed, your eyes can be lowered. Taking this moment to thank yourself for taking this journey tonight. knowing that you are your own best teacher. The experience that you've had today is the experience that you were meant to have. This concludes our Yoga Nidra practice. In gratitude for this ancient practice, know that the love and the light in my heart bows too the love and the light in your heart. Namaste. Thank you everyone for joining in. Sometimes when we are together, which we will be again someday, I might invite those in the room to share one word 
comes to mind. So maybe if you feel comfortable, you can think of one word that comes up from your practice. So this has been Yoga Nidra. Be gentle with yourselves. If you are driving home, making sure that you are centered and back awake before driving. Drink lots of water tonight and be gentle with yourself. You might even want to journal if you feel comfortable doing that. Journaling is a great thing after Yoga Nidra practice to reflect on the journey that you had. And remember that journey that you had was the journey that you were meant to have. And this is a practice that, um, you know, would be wonderful to um, offer yourself on a regular basis, to have that opportunity to rest and digest, like I spoke about earlier. Um, and uh, we do have a series for the next seven weeks. So, um, I invite you to join back in if that feels comfortable. Um, a good idea not to get on a lot of um, social media after this or blue lights just um, might um, because you've gone into the state of unconsciousness uh, through the guided meditation. It's just a lot to um, go back to having a screen time. So I would suggest if you can just have a quiet night, um, that would be better because then you can um, continue this uh, feeling and have a nice restful sleep tonight. So if you have any questions, um, my name is Norma. you happy to answer any questions that you may have. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again. Namaste.